Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I drew this and I'm going to talk you through some of the techniques I used to uh, give the drawing energy and expression. Hopefully you can use these techniques on your drawing. Let's get going. I'm going to be using some general charcoal pencils, some blending stamps, a mono eraser, and putty rubber, cotton wool pads, some willow charcoal, a magic watercolour sponge to push the charcoal around on the paper, and a charcoal sachet. I'll leave a link to all my drawing materials in the description below. I'm just starting by putting down some powdered charcoal. But this is my reference image for the drawing today. And my aim is for my drawing to have something a bit more than just being a representation of my reference image. I'm not making any key decisions yet, just using my cotton wool pads, my sponge and my rubber to just try and figure out where my light and dark values are going to go. It's a great way of starting a charcoal drawing because you can be experimental. It's great for mark making because the charcoal just sits on top of the paper and you can affect it in many different ways. You can experiment with almost anything around your house. You know, I'm using a sponge today and you know, I might even do a portrait with a toothbrush. You can really use anything. And you never know, you might discover a new technique. I think the start is the most important stage of any drawing. If you get good proportions down and solid foundations, and it goes well early on, it's going to be more enjoyable at the end. So once I've got to a stage where I'm happy with the drawing, I'll, I'll go in with some willow charcoal and general's charcoal pencils to tackle the more intricate and detailed parts of the drawing. When using the darker pencils, it's hard to erase them, so once I'm happy with the general structure of the drawing, I can see where everything is going to go and really start to enjoy it. Now this is my favourite part. I've got to a point where I've drawn a realistic leopard and now I can add abstract elements to the drawing. I'm now being more free with my decisions. And I make marks and just see what happens really. trying to make the subject stand out on the paper now by coming in with some dark values with the brush. I'm not thinking about realism, I'm trying to be abstract and I'm looking for these abstract elements of my drawing to enhance the realistic. I want the leopard to pop out the page as if it's coming out right out at you. You know, hear it roaring, it's bloody annoyed. Now I'm going to finish the drawing by sprinkling on some charcoal powder and trying to make some interesting textures. Why don't you try these techniques and bring some character and energy to your drawings?
Thank you for watching. If you found it helpful and interesting, please subscribe.